All right, it looks like we got a lot of people that just love to throw flames and tear everything you put out there down. If it's so easy to down something in text, why don't you fess up the proof that it's going to do all the stuff you say. Fess up the proof. Prove me wrong. Give me some facts. Give me some proof. My proof is right here. Okay. This is my proof. Okay. I have all the stuff that I do. All the other radios I work on and stuff. I do facts. If it don't work, I don't post it. So there you go. Throw your flames, but back it up with some proof. Alright, now. We got a couple people that just don't understand what this does for your power. And they're assuming, well, you can't turn the power down and all this other stuff. Yes, you can still turn your power down right on the radio, just like normal. It has no bearing on any of this other stuff. All it has a bearing on is where the odd, where the power is leveled at under speech. That's the only thing. Okay, it pulls the ALC kickback level way back. So instead of cutting the power, you know. And dropping you back to you know 50 or 60 watts it will allow you if you turn your power all the way up it will allow you to do full power if you don't want to do up to 150 watts well then just turn your power down it's that simple you don't need to go and daisy chain five raspberry pies together and come up with new code and everything else to oh and, and an, uh, uh, some way to automatically vary the the resistance there so you can turn your power down when it's just as easy as going click and turning your little dial <laughs> quit overthinking things people it's it's really not complicated i'll show you right here okay Right now, she's wide open. Hello, one, two, three, four. And as you see, I'm just calmly talking on the radio. One, two, three, four. Not yelling, not being irate, or screaming and yelling in the microphone to get it to do it. Okay, you saw 150. I don't want my radio doing 150. No problem, oh man. Hey, we got you covered, eh? Hello? 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 Wow! Now let's turn it back up a little more. One, two, three, four. Audio, radio. One, two, three, four, five. Well within specs. So there you go, people. And I did have another person ask about AM power. Well, let's switch modes. Put power to 100. Exit that. Switch mode, AM. Okay. We're looking at about 40 watts. So the AM power did come up a bit. Audio is still good. I monitor it myself. I've seen it on the scope. But, now if you say that's too high, Oh, it's doing too much. It's more than spec. Okay, you can turn that down too. By hitting our little power button. And we come over to this little knobby. And we turn it down. Yay! <gasps> Look at that. Our power came down. Now it's under spec. So there you go. So, about saying that, you know, doing this is going to take it all out of spec and blah, 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 blah. No, it does not. The only one that takes it out of spec is the user themselves. You know, Mike Gaines, all that other stuff, I had them full cranked because, well, that's pretty much, you know, I'm running a stock microphone. You know, my Mike Gain is a hundred processor out. Let's see. processor in is only at 35 so it's not as high as you think 
even though I got the mic gain all the way up, when I kick my processor in, it drops down to the level of 35 of the processor. So, hence, it pretty much moots the 100% mic gain. So, there you go. It is a fully functioning, simple modification, and they're like, well, geez, if I, if I mod it, then it's permanently like that. Well, I've seen people put little toggle switches on their radio for for their SDR dongles and and toggling their, their IF taps and all that other stuff. Well, you can also put a little switch to jump that resistor. And when you do that, it puts it right back to the way Kenwood had this radio stock right out the box. So it's not like a mod that is permanent. You can do it the way I did, make it permanent. Or you can put your little toggly switch right through one of these little holes back there and do your little toggly. <laughs> Don't mean to sound sarcastic, it's just I get irritated with all these these people that you know, they just don't seem to be able to use their brains anymore and they throw remarks without thought it's just annoying or they're they don't watch the video in its entirety and they start re making remarks of something that's already spoken of in the video if they just watched the video they just see a general idea of what the post is and immediately become keyboard Rambos. Step back, chill, think. And then if you want to prove me wrong, I'm, I'm more than welcome to all proof that I've done wrong. Bust out your, your 2000, do this mod, throw it on all your scopes, do everything you need to do, show me where this will screw up the radio, because it will not. <laughs> Now, can the user screw up the radio? Probably. But you know what? This is a lot safer than reflashing firmware, you know, back and forth and all that other crap. That little resistor can be taken out in a matter of minutes. You brick your radio from firmware, well, it's either you send it back to, to, to Kenwood, or you send it on eBay as parts, or you send it to the trash can. Which do I choose? I choose the more sure fine way of doing things. And that's what I did. So there you go. And by the way, I did notice an improvement with... I'm wondering if that line... I'm going to have to trace it again in the schematic. I didn't do a full trace on it. But I do believe that is an overall ALC. Because I did notice my sideband power on... Uh, 144 and 480 have actually increased as well so I do believe that's an overall AGC line so you don't need to make two modifications to do to do this just that one should cover everything um, next we're gonna work on the sensitivity of the receiver this does not have bad filters in it it's just well pretty it's not deaf, but it's just about where it needs hearing aids <laughs> compared to, you know, my other rigs and stuff like that, you know, where like I can get an S9 on this guy right here. Well, on this radio, they'll come in at the most S5, but then when I hit the preamp to turn the preamp on, they go over S9, you know, to S20. So, there's, there's some room for improvement here, and that's going to be my next project. Okay, until then, for now, catch you later, see you in Facebook, and as I said, if you want to throw flames down below, throw them with some video proof of your stuff on a scope, um, doing the modification. And I'll recant everything I've said, and I would rec not recommend the mod or anything else. Um, as I said, this is, now I've been beating the living crap out of this radio all day today, and it's just doing beautiful. It loves it. It's happy as a pig in poo. <laughs> Keeping it clean. Catch you later.
水耶。